So the weekend results generally went in Stoke's favour. Um, of course, we've got Man City tonight. It's an unusual game. It's one that barely any Stoke fans are going into, assuming we get any points, um, let alone three. It's going to be... It's a unique game in the sense that despite the perilous position we find ourselves in, there's really not that much pressure on the Stoke players tonight. Of course, we expect commitment, effort, work rates, all them things. But when you boil it down, this Man City team is having a phenomenal season. It's going to take something special to get any points from this game, let alone three. So my preferred 11 would be Jack Butland in net, left-back Staphylidis, centre-backs of Indy and Zuma, and right-back Bauer. Further forward, it's going to be Cameron and then Dai, um, and then further forward again, Joe Allen. Pretty standard team so far, and I think a lot of people would agree with that formation. Up front, that's the, the most difficult... Um, Places to fill at the moment for Stoke, I feel. I will hold my hands up with something that I've been um, wanting for the past couple of games. I've actually, I've had Hesse to start on the left. But what I've quickly come to acknowledge um, that when you have them inside forwards playing on the left and right, they have to have a certain amount of work rate. Hesse doesn't and will not track from what I've seen of him briefly so far this season. And that is one trait we have to have from a player playing that on that left hand side. Against Man City. So for that reason, I'm going to go with Ramadan Sobi. I don't know where he's gone. Um, he seems to be frozen out a little bit by um, Lambert. I can't really put my finger on why he was having a so so season before. It's not as though he was playing poorly and deserved to be dropped. But one thing you will get from Sobi, as well as a decent attacking presence, that he will work really, really hard and he will track. And I've always said, despite being a winger, he seems to have quite an intelligent defensive mind. I think he's exactly the sort of player we need playing on that left hand side against Manchester City. On the right, there's only one player, that's going to be Shakiri, of course. Then the striker position, this is get where it gets very, very difficult. I don't think you can make a decision without it being criticised and probably justifiably criticised um, in some aspects. Now, I was going to, I was torn between two players here. One of them was Peter Crouch and the other one was going to be Chief Emoting. I've um, criticised Chief Emoting quite a lot recently, but I just couldn't bring myself to play Crouch against Man City because I can see the pattern of play already. We get the ball... We try and relieve the pressure by launching it up front to Crouch or playing it up front to Crouch. Crouch, as we know, can't harass. He's not got the pace and the ball, I anticipate, will come flying back. Now, I'm not saying Chief Emoting is Mr Motivator and he's going to be running all over the place tracking these balls. But we will get a little bit more energy from him in that up front position. So for that reason being, I'm going to go with Chief Emoting. If it is nil-nil and it's tight and we're approaching the, t uh, the end of the game and we are getting the odd corner and cross in a decent position, it makes sense to chuck on Crouch. But from the start, I'll go with Cheaper Moting. So back to front as a recap. Jack Butland, Staphylidis left-back, centre-back pairing of Indy and Zuma. Right-back will be Bauer. Further forwards, Cameron and Ndai. Then we got Joe Allen. And then left to right, Ramadan Sobi. Uh, Cheaper Moting and on the right, Shakiri. So a really unusual game, this one. Uh, we're not expecting much. The pressure's not really on Stoke here. Um, but who knows? A point would be amazing. Three would be unbelievable. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens.